Hey guys, man, Jesse here for a super special episode. Uh, we'll get to this all in a minute. First of all, we had an order from Entertainment Earth, and it came with this free Buffy mystery one. I hope it's Spike. Again. I hope so. We have two Spikes already. Two? We have two? Yeah, the identical. What? We have two? When? Replay the videos. Anyways, Jesse has seen the show. Um, I haven't, so... It's like my favorite. Hopefully she'll help me. Uh-oh. I hope it's not someone dumb. Who's dumb on the show? I'm the friend. It's the friend. Is it? I think so. Who is that even? <laughs> oh, that's what's her face. I don't like her. Who is it? That's, um... Is it Willow? No. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It's just right there. She doesn't have brown. Oh, she was brown in that. I was thinking it was Faith, but it is Willow. Super fan over here, obviously. <laughs> um, I'm used to her having red hair. It's <laughs> good. Team Willow. <laughs> Anyways, um, I lucked into two full boxes of Betamax tapes today and a player, which is supposed to work. Um, Luck. If you're too young to know what Betamax is, when VHS came out, it was the competing one, just like Blu-ray and HD DVD, which we also have a player of, because we like dead technology. We do. Um, this is the only beta I had before today, uh, Sleepy Hollow, the original Disney cartoon, which is awesome, so maybe I'll get to play it. Anyways, uh, we're going to go back and forth through our huge boxes and see what we got. I only know what was on the top, so a lot of surprises left. All right. Girl, you want to start? Reach in here. <laughs> All right. Eight and a half. No idea what that is. Oh, is that the... Fellini movie? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Eight and a half. That's a good number. A good number. You oh, go. this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> she had one job to do. Uh, <laughs> this is what originally got me attracted to these boxes. I saw some Hitchcock ones. Psycho. One of my favorite movies, uh, the her first Hitchcock film I saw. Aww. You like Hitchcock, right? I do. Uh, right. Yeah. Murder on Orient Express. Who's in that one? I've heard of it, but... Old Paramount film. Some gross noises start this one, apparently. <laughs> that is small rating. We'll get See? to that one later. It's not my fault. Um... Ragtime, James Cagney's in it, and Elizabeth McGovern, James, I don't know. You're selling that Mary one. Steenburgen's in it, though. We like her. Ooh. Yeah, if you've never seen oh, Betamax, so cool. it's like a, a smaller than a VHS. Fancy. Tape. Ooh, Vertigo. Another Hitchcock. I've seen this one. Very good. I know someone with Vertigo. <laughs> we won't out them, though. Um, recently, this was named the number one film of all time, beating out Citizen Kane, which is insane. I don't believe it. I love Hitchcock, but I don't know if it can top Citizen Kane. It's all lies. Lies. Joan Crawford in Johnny Guitar. Oh, God. This looks like a horrible old western. Uh, probably won't be watching this. Maybe there's someone who wants to trade for that. Trade? <laughs> there's a lot of beta fans out there. Um, another Ooh. Hitchcock rear window. Apparently, Matt is pumped. It's my top five of Hitchcock films. Have I seen this one? Yes, you really liked it. It was good. Apparently. <laughs> um, it was later kind of redone with Shia LaBeouf. LaBeouf? <laughs> Disturbia? It's okay um, for him. Oh my gosh. Mr. Mike's Mondo video. Um, from. Okay. I don't know if this is the same thing I saw when I was in high school, but if it is, it's insane. And um, this might be a collector's item. <laughs> Whoops, that one came out. Um, Scarlet Street by, with Dan Duria, Joan Bennett, and Edward Robinson. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> we'll be watching that one tonight. I get to go twice because I got another copy of Ragtime. <laughs> Parent, oh. It was split into two cassettes. Must be a really long, fun movie. <laughs> Eat my dust! Oh. Ron Howard! Whoa! Okay. Um, Rest of Development fame. 
played Opie. He's the narrator in this rest development I was telling you about. It does not look like a classic. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big one. Mulder and Pierce? Why is it so big? Oh, it's just weird. With Joan Crawford. I can put that over here. I'll start a stash of huge ones. And... Holy crap, there's a lot. Yeah. Rumblefish, Francis <laughs> Ford Coppola. Heard of this one. Looks interesting. He's a really good director, so should be good. Last House on the Left. Ooh. Horror. Horror classic that I've never seen. <laughs> I don't like horror. I never Max seen. Maven's Mind Games, the video that reads your mind. Oh, he looks terrifying. That sounds terrifying. Um, we'll probably be possessed and we won't recover. This is one of our last videos. <laughs> this is massive. Whoa. The Battle of Austerlitz. That's a big fancy box. Dang, it looks boring. It looks like a war. Alrighty then. Um, you'll see that one for a while. Um, Hotel New Hampshire, Jodie Foster, Bo Bridges, Rob Lowe. Um, I like a lot of those actors, so I'm excited to see that one. And it has a bear on the front. Yes, a bear. <laughs> Another big one, The Devils. What? Is that a horror movie? Oh, this is cool. I don't know. It looks like someone awkwardly trying to lick someone. Uh. Awkward licking. <laughs> Yikes, okay. Lots of big ones. This one uh, is very interesting. I know, Jess, you will want to watch this. It's called Aftermon Conf? Question mark? What? It's a 1940 film? I don't know. Um, it says a film bio of Hitler made in the UK during World War II. That's true. That's oh my gosh, I'm behind. really cool. I have no idea where this comes from. So that should be interesting. Well, nothing can top that, but... <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street! Oh my gosh. I used to like be terrified of these movies as a kid. Like, terrified. She's a big crush on Johnny Depp, so I'm gonna burn that one tonight. Diabolic, a film classic starring some people I've never heard of. So yes! <laughs> Ooh, that's a big one! Fellini's Americord? Whoa, that's some interesting art. Cool, big cool Fellini question. fan over I got these from Stage Door Canteen I don't know why I've heard of this um, I'm probably making that up it's another film classic so it might be kind of boring <laughs> <laughs> how dare you um, Sally Field Places in the Heart <laughs> it's VHS throw that it's VHS oh. yeah uh -uh. what it's in a big box weird oh. okay don't throw it it's beta yeah Says beta. The day after, beyond imagining, um, something there's mushroom cloud in the back. I don't know what's going on. Just, Atomic bomb. This could be interesting. If it's anything about Fallout and dog meat, <laughs> <laughs> the Lone Wanderer. Hannah and her sisters: Woody Allen, Michael Caine, <gasps> Carrie Fisher, Mira Farrow. Goes on. Is that one of his movies? Let me check that oh. out. I'm a big Woody Allen fan. Written and directed by him. I have not seen this one. That's awesome. So, I don't know why it's in a VHS. Make sure it's the right one. Okay, it is. It's beta, but it's in a VHS box for some reason. <laughs> no problem. We still got it. <laughs> Weird. Oh, yeah. It's my turn. Come on. I am the cheese. Period. <laughs> um, we'll just leave that one. I'm not even going to try to guess what that is about. <laughs> The Spiral Staircase. I love Spiral Staircases. It has to be a good movie then. Who's in that one? Dorothy McGuire, George Brent, Ethel Barrymore. Ethel. Drew's grandma? Great, great, great grandma. Body Double! Brian De Palma film. I've never seen this, but I used to work in a video store, and I obviously remember this artwork. It's pretty scandy. <laughs> For a small town video store. Crimes of the Heart. Diane Keaton, Jessica Lange, Sissy Spagnet. SpaceX. SpaceX. She was Carrie. Carrie. <laughs> yeah, she was. Short Eyes. Um, 
No idea. <laughs> but on the back, it has someone's throat getting cut. Yes. So that sounds like an awesome movie. Passage to India. Heard of that one. Me too. It looks interesting. <laughs> Psycho 2! Yes! Never actually seen this one. I hope it's um, Because Anthony Perkins from the first one, I think he's in the first couple sequels at least. So that'll be interesting. The Seventh Seal. Whoa. Historic film. It's terrifying on the front cover. That's awesome artwork. Oh, touch of evil! All right. Oh, whoa. Okay, so at some point, beta boxes were the same size as VHS. They just had these fancy little inserts. I'm excited to see this one. Oh my gosh! Call the house. Oh. Ding dong, you're dead. Look at that. I, I remember that box. Show them the front. That one's awesome. I remember that from the video store. That's too. creepy. Old horror films oh. of VHS and Beta had the best artwork. Another Woody Allen film, Broadway, Danny Rose. I'm excited to watch this one. To Live and to Die in L.A. To Live and Die in L.A. Mm -mm. I get it right. <laughs> I get it right. <laughs> the Old Curiosity Shop. Okay, no sleeve. I don't really can't explain what that one's about. Awesomeness. <laughs> David's oh, liquid sky. <laughs> Looks great. What? Who's in that one? Annie Carlisle, Paula Shepard, Bob Brady. Brady. Hmm. Don't know that one. The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad. <laughs> what? Heard of this one? It has awesome artwork. If you've never seen it, read it at all. Easy Rider. Oh, classic. I think I made you watch that one. Maybe. Maybe. Oh yeah, you did. That was weird. It was weird. It's a really hippie film. Imitation of Life with Lana Turner, John Gavin. Gavin. Doesn't look like one we'll watch. <laughs> Blood Simple. Ooh, what did I tell you about that one today? Early Coen Brothers film. Oh, she likes their later Coen films. So, yes. <laughs> I like their later films. Autumn Sonata, a film by Ingmar Bergman. Should be good. Ooh, I don't know what this is about, but it's called The Killing Fields. Oh, wow, yeah, I remember that one too. Bringing back so many memories. It's actually beta? Yep. Just in the... Oh! I don't know if that one will work. <laughs> <laughs> Ruthless people! I used to that was awesome. uh, be terrified by that. It looks like a Doom Tree video. Um. <laughs> Days of Wine and Roses. What? Cool. Woody Allen's Radio Days, um, recorded off something. Hopefully it's not a home video, because that'd be awkward. Um, I'd probably have to give it back. <laughs> oh my gosh. The Man with the X-Ray Eyes. Ooh. Looks awesome. I'm going to be him on Halloween, I think. That's Terrify everyone. Ray Milland. Ray Milland over here. Oh, Repo Man! Oh my gosh. Cult classic. There's some good stuff in here. Dang. Zelig. Oh, Woody Allen film. Sweet. A lot of Woody Allen. I'm a big fan, so that's awesome. Francis, starring Jessica Lange and Sam Shepard. Min and Bill, starring Marie Dressler and Wallace Beery. You start a stack over there. <laughs> it's getting kind of high. Pink Flamingos. Oh my gosh. One of John Waters' early films. Um, called Another cult classic. They had some really interesting stuff in this collection. They must have bought a video store. Stromboli. Ooh. Awesome. I like the dish at Old Chicago. I didn't know it was a film. It has to be awesome. All of Me. Ooh, Steve Martin. Lily Tomlin. That should be funny. Right. 1984. Oh, sweet. Huge fan of the book. I've never actually seen the movie. Or the beta. 
Or the, yeah, I haven't seen that in beta, that's for sure. The Changeling, George C. Scott, winner of eight Genie Awards. I've never heard of those, so. Uh, yeah. Ooh, it's a haunted house thriller. <laughs> um, small change. And stars. <laughs> True foe. FX. Ooh, it's a thriller. Ooh. Why do I know this one? I'm making it up. <laughs> Silkwood. Starring Meryl Streep and Kurt Russell and Cher. Cher uh, acted. We're watching this one. I hope she sings in her manly voice. <laughs> it's weird. The Dark Mirror. Um, old school. Probably not a horror movie. <laughs> That sounds familiar. Dustin Hoffman. Sweet. <laughs> Ooh, The Thing, John Carpenter. I've been wanting to watch this one. I've heard a couple references lately, so... Awesome. Performance. That looks boring. <laughs> that just sells it right there. <laughs> oh, man. Norma Ray. Um, Bo Bridges, Sally Field, probably uplifting. <laughs> the Ice Pirates. Yes. I don't know anything about that one. Oh, the Razor's Edge, Bill Murray. I have not seen this, but Bill Murray is great, always. Ooh, good advice. Never cry a wolf. <laughs> an advice box. Aww. A recording of Killer Clown Clown House? Oh my gosh, that sounds um, So maybe some underground horror here? That could be interesting. My final <laughs> one. The Golden Voyage of Sinbad. Again? Alright. Ooh. Is this really airplane? Oh, I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. Oh gosh. Yes, it's Airplane, uh, one of my favorite comedies, so. Classic. That's awesome. I'll give you another one. Ah. Uh, oh my gosh! Splash. Oh. I love Yay. Splash. I love it, Tom Hanks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Am I normal? Oh my gosh, a film about puberty for boys. <gasps> We're watching that one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I hope that's not one I saw in school, because they were freaking awkward. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped to watch that. This is like a collector's item. It makes everyone squirm. <laughs> oh my gosh. They, they had to like buy a video star that just got rid of all the beta, because it's so random, this collection. <laughs> um, like, S.O.B. What? Julie Andrews. Hmm. Weird. Oh, no, the last one, nine and a half weeks. Erotic thriller. What? Good end. <laughs> You ever heard of this one? No. Oh, you'll hear about this one. All right, so that was a very special episode. Um, thoughts, your favorites? Um, our house just got taken over by Beta. I am most excited for Splash because I love that one, but I'm also really excited for nine and a half weeks because it just sounds weird. Your thoughts? Um, I'm really excited about all the cult classics, John Waters, Repo Man. I'm a huge Hitchcock film fan, so I'm um, excited for all that in the early Coen Brothers film on beta. That's pretty cool. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Recording live from the center of the earth, central Minnesota. We are the Boring Investors. Have a good night.